My name is Seth Scheller, and today I'm going to be doing horse fire prevention in my backyard. We are heading down there. I got myself a wheelbarrow, axe, and a go deck. And gloves. Gloves are very important. Now, you have these folks out in California having all these forest fire problems because they don't manage the forest out there like they should. Managing the forest can be very difficult, especially if you have conifers. Conifers will get disease and all sorts of other stuff in them. And when the trees die, all the resin in them goes to the bottom, so into the stumps. And what happens is that resin acts like a waterproof and it's extremely flammable. So the wood doesn't rot. And when I say this resin is extremely flammable, I mean flammable as I'll get it. So here we go. And this is what I'm doing out here. I'm just out here and I'm digging this stuff up. You can see I'm pulling this out of the ground. This stuff is full of resin. All this stuff hasn't decayed because it is full of resin. You can see it right there. Take a look at this. You can see how that stuff, it's called fat wood, resin wood, light or not. It has a whole bunch of crazy na names for it. This stuff will sit in the ground forever. And once you'll happen, you'll have a forest fire. And the fire will come through and it will burn. And it'll catch all it and catch everything on fire. And two big things is they'll have this lighter knot in the ground. And when they have the lighter knot in the ground, it'll just burn and it intensifies the heat of the forest. So it doesn't just burn on the surface, it'll burn on the ground, destroying roots and all sorts of other stuff. So every dead pine will contain this stuff. Like this right here. There's lighter knot in it. Keep this open. I can feel it. There's lighter knot in it. Right here. There's resin in this wood. Right here. That little knot there would have it in there. So, what would happen is all this stuff will dry out. And then you'll have a drought. And when you have a drought, the ground will dry out. And then you become at risk. See this pine here? You come at risk for forest fire. And the two big things that cause the forest fires that can't be put out or controlled is standing dead trees and light or not. The stuff I've gathered up, this big old pile of light or not. So, I want to show you some of the disease in the trees that cause light or not. This one died. You look, all this wood right here in this disease part is full of resin. It's pretty much a giant chunk of light or not. Come over here. Look at this. And this stuff burns like napalm. There's a whole thing of it. You can see, see how the resin's down in there. And it's just crazy how well this stuff burns. Like it's just insane. You see, all this stacked up here is light or not. So that's a ton. And then you come over here. I've been pulling this junk out of the ground for forest fire prevention. Right there, all that is light or not. I pulled it out of the ground. And then you got another big old pile right here. This keeps coming back in here. Because all this stuff is flammable. And it'll dry out and it'll just burn. It'll destroy everything back in here. Now you can have a burn in a forest and won't kill everything. It'll kill a lot of different little trees because some trees can't tolerate, but a lot of trees will survive a burn. So, like right here, in a rotten tree, that's light or not. That stuff will burn. Most of the light or not comes from like the knots in the tree. The knots in the trees will hold the most resin, like this right here. This is light or not right here. This stuff just doesn't rot. It's easy to find. You can build a fire in the rain with it. I mean, that's how good it burns. Like you literally can build a fire in the rain with it. There's a big chunk of it right there. See? It didn't decay. This didn't decay at all. So, yeah. 
this junk is like what causes causes for extreme heat so and then standing trees standing trees standing dead trees like this one right here is another big cause because instead of having the fire sweep under the understory the standing big trees will catch on fire and intensify the fire so that one got disease in it too here's another big pile of it it's light or not so. yep and it doesn't end there a big old power right over there what i gotta do is get this out of the woods i do want to turn an acre into a forest that has to be burned long leaf pine i want i want to have at least two one to two acres of long leaf pine back in here that's my goal in the long run and they have to be burned that type of woods have to be burned so if i want to grow that stuff i need to get rid of this stuff you see that big old thing all the way down there, that's full of light or not. Yeah. Right here. <clears throat> you can see it. It's just resin. This whole whole thing is just full of it. Yep. Used to be a road right here. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the tracks. See two ruts. Old road right through here. I don't know what it went to yep so that that's what i'm doing today for fire prevention i'm just gonna haul a little bit of this out of here so, it's best for it to be in piles anyway so it's scattered all over the place eventually i'm gonna have to either chop this up and try to get rid of it or uh i don't know, I don't know how i'm gonna get rid of it big old concrete pile right here I don't know what this is about. there's a lot to get rid of this, fall through the woods in here i want to kind of turn this area over here into an orchard that would be nice nice little orchard back in here totally it's a lot of work but hopefully we'll get there if you look all these trees are small none of them are big this is all new growth this used to probably be a food see that tree right there is diseased I got a bunch of diseased trees. I think the problem is that no one's never cleared it out back in here. So, get at it.